Now this one, this is called pie and mash and liquor. Now, I'm sure you've read this one before or you've heard me read it before. It's, it's one I wrote a long time ago. Um, it, it's my greatest hit. It's, <laughs> But you're not early like this. I'm going to try it with a guitar. Um, try something a bit different with it. And uh, anyway, here we go. Pie and mash and liquor. Pie and mash and liquor. It's the nectar of the gods. Never mind your caviar. That's for them posh shots. Two and double fork and spoon. Non brood of white pepper. Down the market, feeling pretty, she doesn't get much better. The Cornish have the pasties and of course there's fish and chips. The Scottish seem to like something that they call tatties and nips. But if you come from London town and if you work in class, fire, mash and liquor will be on your repertoire. Oh, pie and mash and liquor, it's the nectar of the gods. Never mind your caviar, that's for them posh shots. Two and double fork and spoon, non brood and white pepper. Found the market feeling peggy, she doesn't get much better. Oh, the mash gets scraped to lock the plate, and the pie's put upside down. The blood and liquor poured across until they nearly drown. The softness of the pastry makes this banquet taste complete. Now you feel like a great white hunter sometimes looking for the meat. But pie and mash and liquor, we want it when we do. When we do, we always recommend that you do too. But if you come from somewhere else and it ain't in your blood, you need a taste bud transplant, mate. I rest me case, me lad. 